Oh my god! Alta Beauty, I can't believe you did this! Decayed Spade, none other. Subscribe to my channel here on the tubes if you haven't already. Push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today and gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon, Super Jacob. All spelled together for extra perks. Thank you to my members and patrons who have already pledged. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream every Saturday and you're all invited to join the chats. Hi chat. Alta Beauty and Kate Spade. What can I tell you? Oh boy. Is this a doozy? I cannot believe this happened. My jaw dropped, my arms, everything dropped. You're gonna be like, Jacob, what happened? Okay, well, let me tell you first who Kate Spade is. Let me show you a picture of Kate Spade. This lady is Kate Spade, known in the in the design world, in the fragrance world, all you know, design world. I mean, we know we all have seen at least Kate Spade bags. Well, Kate Spade also has perfumes. But before we get to Ulta. The perfumes, the bags, the controversy. We have to unfortunately also share a very dramatic part of this story. And that is that uh, Kate Spade hung herself. This happened a while ago. She has taken her own life. Through hanging. And th 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 it's, it leaves you speechless, it leaves you sad, it's, it's terrifying, and the thought is saddening, and it's, it's just something, if you are in, in, in the fashion world, if you are in, in the cosmetic world, in, in the fragrance world, I mean, if you know the names of brands, you know about Kate Spade. So then this happens. Alta is promoting a perfume um, called uh, Kate Spade New York Sparkle. And I guess their newsletter or their promotional text, their marketing team, PR team comes up with this text to promote Kate Spade's New York Sparkling on social media on whatever uh, newsletter or whatever they have to you know show to their potential customers this is the text that they wrote let me show you the new york city it girl is back come hang with kate spade It's kind of even hard to talk about this. Hella Barbara Rank says, May she rest in peace, my old friend. May she rest in peace. This gives me the chills in the worst way. Just how can... Okay, anyway. So, of course, the backlash was huge. Now, just quickly, to the bright side of things, if there is any, let's get to the notes of the perfume, at least. So I'm going to read to you. The, the fragrance notes are purple peonies, black currant and vanilla, and creme brulee. So it's, it's on the warmer side, a little, I guess, a gourmand, warmer type of fragrance. And there's, you know, vanilla there. Uh, you see the little vanilla stick and the creme brulee. So there's a sweetness to this perfume. Now, after the backlash, and this is kind of makes me always so angry that these corporations, they can never get out of their corporate moronic way of communicating. You know what I'm talking about. This customer service type of communication. If you have an issue with the brand and you write something, you get that prefabricated moronic response that just makes you more furious than it actually solves the situation you know you know those like thank you for contacting alta beauty we appreciate your business we're working really hard to make you know those type of prefabricated answers that just make your blood boil because you know nobody's really nobody cares about you as a customer nobody gives a damn 
They just want to shove it to the side, whatever issue you have. They don't want to solve your issue. They just want your money. Don't bother them with anything else. So after the backlash, Alta, this is Alta Beauty's apology. Let, let, let's see the apology. All right, right, let me read this to you guys. We're sorry, Alta Beauty. To our Alta Beauty community. Really? What about Kate Spade's community? What about to the community? What about her family? What about the people she left behind? What about her legacy? You're, you're apologizing to the people who give you money. Ah, I see. Okay. Well, we're already beginning with apology to uh, the Alta Beauty community. In an email we recently sent featuring the Kate Spade New York brand of fragrances, a very insensitive choice of words was used, and for that we are very sorry. We have the utmost respect for the Kate Spade brand and the joy it brings to the beauty and fashion industries. At Alta Beauty, our teams are human. Doesn't feel like they are. And this was truly an error with no intent to do harm. You're dumb is what you are, to say the least. Everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only. Just my opinion, all allegedly. We're keenly aware that May is Mental Health Awareness Month. Oh, really? You are, are you? And now you're putting that in as well. Like, look, we're so committed. Mental health is a very serious and important issue in this country. All over the world, first of all. And second of all, anyway. And not something we would ever take lightly. We are working internally. And this is that corporate answer. This is that. We are working internally to ensure something like this never happens again. Problem solved. No, bitch. Problem isn't solved. Problem isn't solved. Not at all. Not even close. To the Spade family. And... To our Kate Spade brand partners, we're deeply sorry. And to our guests, we apologize for this upsetting mistake. Simply put, this is below our standards. Thank you for understanding as we strive to do better. This is such bullcrap. I'm sorry, you guys. This apology ain't it. It reeks of fake. It reeks of non-authentic remorse. It reeks of, oh, damn. Oh, well, we're going to earn a little bit less money this month. Let's brush it under the carpet with this, you know. Yeah, Debbie, typical Ulta BS, right? Glad you are covering this topic, Jacob, says Hella Barbara Rank. I'm glad too. Sylvie says she had a 13-year-old daughter when she passed. Paige says, yup, fake. Ew. It, it, it's just like th that weird keenly aware oh no what did you say they're saying we are working internally to ensure something like this never happens again that's you're literally mocking a, a person who took their life with your insensitivity and then your apology is the same apology you would give if let's say one of your sales associates went rogue and uh in on the sales floor started bashing bottles of, of perfumes and 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 yelling how terrible the corporation is and hence causing distress to a couple of karens in the store and then the karens complain and then this this is the answer you get we are working internally to ensure something like this never happens again So they did not even make an effort to reformulate their pre-fabricated customer service replies to tailor an apology to this situation. Instead, what they did is they kept that classic cliche corporate bullcrap that they give you when you, you know, complain to customer services for anything. The same thing. They did not even make the effort to actually give a convi lazy, exactly, Debbie, to give you a convincing apology. 
I don't believe a word of what they wrote here. The idiot that created this marketing strategy, uh, PR text, you know, come hang with, with Kate Spade. It, it's probably the same moron who wrote this text. Yeah, below our standard right page. <laughs> Simply put, because we don't have the time to, to put it in a more profound way. So we're going to simply put it this way. Uh, this is below our standards. I mean, where are your standards to begin with? Where are your standards for you to be below what you claim are your standards? <laughs> because where are the standards to begin with? If we hypothesize that there are no standards to begin with, how can you be lower than that? This is not acceptable. This is not, you see, they say, it's not about being below standards. This is not acceptable. By saying this is below our standards, you're implying that that you could potentially imagine a scenario where you could say, come hang with Kate Spade. Your choice of words here is despicable. This is unacceptable. This is not below standards. How can you not understand this, Alta Beauty? Like, how can somebody, who, whichever moron wrote this, how can they not get that? And how could you allow this sort of thing after the terrible promotion? How can you allow this sort of apology? I read the first email out loud to my co-worker, says Julie. They had to look at it to see for themselves, and we were all in shock. Imagine how many people that had to go through it, right? It is very unacceptable, says Gloria. The choice of words is most definitely not a coincidence, says Quickity. I mean, well, you know, we can speculate about that, but... Autumn Dawn says, Kate Spade, the brand, contributes to a lot of organizations that help with mental health in honor of her. And um, then Hella Barbara says, and, and and Kate Spade would forever be grateful. I think, Hella, you're referring to that, right? Um, Melissa says, they should have made the apology to the family first, not at the bottom of it, and they should have not blamed it on we're human. Exactly, Melissa. That, too, is a huge... Oh, oh my God, it's disgusting. It's so vile that they think they can really rub this thing off like that, huh? Yeah, and an insensitive choice of words. Insensitive, you think? Again, no, not insensitive. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Choice of words was used, and for that, we're very sorry. And for that, we're very sorry. Maybe you should have started with mortified. Embarrassed. We are embarrassed. Not, oh, listen, I say I'm very sorry if I, by accident, step on my mom's foot while I'm walking to the kitchen and, and she's, you know, in the way or something. I don't see it because it's dark, whatever. I made, I made this example before, but in another video of mine, I say, oh, oh I'm very sorry. A little short moment in time. She's like, oh, ouch. Oh, it's okay. Don't worry. Okay, moving on. You don't say we're very sorry for this. No, you say we're mortified. We are embarrassed. You beg for forgiveness for something like this. You don't just rub it off by saying we're very sorry for what happened. Like, Okay, let me read it with a Valley Girl accent. This is like literally... How I think this thing sounds. Alta Beauty. To our Alta Beauty community, like, hi. Like, in an email we recently sent featuring the Kate Spade New York brand of fragrances, 
a very insensitive choice of words was used. And, like, for that, we're, like, very sorry. We have the utmost respect for the Kate Spade brand. Brings us a lot of money. Uh, and the joy it brings to beauty and fashion industries. Like, totally. Totes. Totes. At Ulta Beauty, our teams are human. Like... Uh, and this was, like, truly an error with no intent to harm anybody. Okay? Uh, we're keenly aware that May is Mental Health Awareness Month. Like, totally, we're totally aware. Like, we're so aware. Um, we're so aware that we, all of us, went uh, twice to get our hair done so that we look really cute for, uh, just to write this email together. Because it's, like, really cute. You know, a little apology letter. Um, so, yeah, mental health, right? It's, like, very serious. Like, an important issue in this country. The Alta beauty country. Yes, we're a country. Right? Right, Martha? Right. Uh, and not something we would ever take lightly. Like, we're working internally. Like, we're working internally uh, to ensure something like this never happens again. So, like, how we're doing it internally is we're drinking um, detox teas. They work internally. Um, kale is our word du jour. Uh, kale works internally. It, it does wonders. So, we're doing that. Um, so, uh, to the spade family, let's call a spade a spade, okay? Um, you know... And to our Spade, uh, Kate Spade brand partners, uh, we're deeply sorry. Like, sorry. Girl. Girl, we're sorry. And to our guests, thank you for the money. Thank you for the commish. Uh, we apologize for this upsetting mistake. Sorry, like, really. But simply put, this is below our standards. Like, girl. It ain't cute. You know what I mean? They used to say, you know, like, pink is the new black. Mm. No. Well, thank you for understanding. Uh, as we strive to do better, I'm definitely, definitely going to change my esthetician. I'm going to do better. Thank you. This is how it reads to me. Y you understand what I'm saying? This is how this apology reads to me. Autumn says, I work for Kate Spade and we were all shocked that day. Uh, there you go, Autumn Dawn. But do you understand, Autumn, what I'm saying here? Why I read it with this tone of voice, like paraphrasing and adding all... Because this is how, when I read between the lines, that's how this thing reads to me. It reads like mocking even further. It's not a real apology. It's not a real apology. I'm sorry, this is not a real apology. Autumn Dawn says, Working right after she passed was horrible. Everyone assumed we would be closing. Also, some people still refuse to buy her products because they see the S word uh, as, uh, as a sin. Unbelievable. Kimberly says, Jacob, you sound like Harry Scherer from uh, Le Show just now in that voice. Okay, I don't know who that is. Sorry, Kimberly, but thank you. Uh, Detox teas. Yeah, they're working internally. To, I mean, you guys, you know. Uh, mental health awareness, um, uh, Kate Brown's hashtag. Uh, Eating kale right now literally says red frag. Well, there you go. You're working internally to make yourself better. But obviously, I'm trying to, you know, I'm, I'm not taking this lightly at all. I'm just, for whoever believes that this apology letter is good enough, it's not. And that's why I made the mocking voice to reread this and add extras to make you understand what I feel this is when you read between the lines. When you read between the lines, you get that mockery. You get that mockery. And that's how it feels to me to read this. Gloria says, They should have apologized profusely and then made a sizable donation to an organization of the Spades family's choice. Katie Brown says, You are correct, Jacob. You know, and listen, again, please don't misunderstand me reading this in that funny comedic way. I did that for a very specific purpose to shed light on how embarrassing this apology is and how fake this apology is. Weekly radio show, he has a section called Apologies of the Week, says Kimberly. Oh, gotcha. Oh, I didn't know. Thank you for letting me know. 
Squeakity Two says, Gloria, they probably will donate portions of the sales to the family to drive sales. Yes, I'm a skeptic, says Squickety Two. I'm just speechless. I mean, are we even shocked though, says Paige. So many corporate advertising faux pas, particularly in the past two years. Does anyone remember the sheer amount of cringe candy cane related content? Yes, for sure. Uh, and I mean, all of them make mistakes. But there's also ways and ways to apologize. There's ways and ways to also acknowledge the fact that there something goes beyond mistake. And some of you might say, well, then what do you want? What do you want them to do? They can't do more than apologize. True. Sure, there could be donations made and stuff, but it's it's about an authentic apology. This doesn't feel to me like they understood the gravitas, okay, of the situation. It seems like they're brushing it off quickly, you know, quick apology, done, you know. It's going to be gone in a week or two. That's how this thing feels like. Quick, lazy, terrible. Terrible. Julie Scott to, uh, says to Autumn, that makes me want to go out and buy a Kate Spade product tomorrow, but not from Ulta. <laughs> Autumn says, ah, yes, you should. Sparkle is lovely, the perfume. How could this have gone through? I can't understand it, says Gloria, because people don't care. People don't give a flying F about morals. They want money. Corporate greed knows no respect for human life, for human form, for human morals. Corporate greed walks over dead bodies to get money. That's all it is, Gloria. That's that's it. That's all it is. A very sophisticated and mature fragrance, says Autumn. Oh, Sparkle. Squickety2 says, I just don't understand how anyone working on the collab could have missed this. Everyone in the fashion world knows Kate Spade. Letty says, I work in image consultation and this is wrong beyond words. And Katie says, yes. Pagey says, you would hope PR or legal would check these things, but nope. They don't care. They just don't care. That's the bottom line. And by writing this type of apology letter, they just reprove to me that they don't care. Because this is a copy and paste type of apology letter that is done hastily because they don't care. Someone, at least one person, knew this was wrong, says Debbie. Who is that person? Squiggity says, Yup, Debs, that's why I think it was planned. Interesting, Squiggity. So, conspiracy theory, huh? Hella Barbara says, Corporate greed walks over respect hashtag katie says thank you for talking about mental health issues it's a serious topic but obviously this video is not i'm not a psychologist or a psychiatrist you know i i can't really talk about mental issues in in, in that capacity but i can most certainly raise awareness this raises awareness because first of all don't take it lightly and don't think it's a joke and don't think that you can get away with the joke and don't think that it's ever in good taste. Bottom line. Thank you, Kimberly, for upgrading membership to tier two. Very kind of you. Thank you. Uh, Melissa says that ad had to go through so many marketing teams, PR and graphic designers, no one as a human being not even mentioning their professional skills. Notice the huge mistake in the headline. Maria says, embarrassing. Well, maybe Alta just wants to save money and they're hiring, you know, interns. They don't want to have a, just my supposition only, speculation, alleged, or everything, right? Maybe they just, like many other companies I've worked for, don't want to pay good money. So no professionals are hired interns, people who are just out of school, really young, who might not even know the story of Kate Spade. 
And they sit there, underpaid, do this stuff quickly. And next, thank you, next. There is no more integrity. And, the, and it's, again, Alta to blame. Because they want to save money. And they don't educate their people. They want people who cost less. It's just my speculation. And then you end up in a situation like this more and more and more. Luxury brands want to save money. So they fire entire quality control teams. And then you end up buying a $5,000 bag that has stitches loose. That is fallen apart at the seams because there's no more quality control. They can save money. They don't want to hire quality control. All of this piles up. This is an example. Paige says, raising awareness about not just mental health, but also conscious consumption as consumers. Oh, thank you, Paige D. Thank you. Thank you so much. Puyan G says, agreed, Jacob. Uh, Adam says, since she passed, the company does a lot for the employees regarding mental health. They pay for counseling. Well, that is good to hear. That, that is really good to hear. Thank you, Autumn, for sharing that with us. And you guys share your thoughts in the comment section down below. And never forget to never give up on love and subscribe. Bye.